sign and stuff. Is there mercury? You should in not the read what's online. There are trace amounts of mercury. So there but is not, but trace not amounts. even enough to hurt babies. Okay. So I give these vaccines to pregnant ladies. Do not read so don't read anything online no. is what you're saying no. unless it's going to be from the cdc mm -hmm. go ahead and read everything you want from the cdc yeah but it's, it's not a reputable source i would not be reading it. just like this whole autism and vaccine junk right it's absolutely ridiculous okay um sorry i just i just have questions <laughs> um i'm sorry if i'm am i messing with your day right now no, i just because it's just yeah. been it's a little bit of a concern so i wanted to there are trace trace amounts when you say trace yes. amounts what is the safe limit for mercury. I'd have to look it up, but it's so minute that it's not even a concern with pregnant women. So when you're pregnant, you're not even supposed to eat tuna because it has mercury in it. I know that right. was, that's like I love that you said that. But I give these vaccines to pregnant women mm -hmm. because the, it's. Hi, for Misty. So you're picking up ibuprofen. I'm not sure if you were already taking ibuprofen, um, but there is some new evidence coming out for an increased risk of ulcers when ibuprofen is taken with antidepressants. So I just wanted to make sure that you're aware. Use it as sparingly as possible. Because this is how they're taken from the pharmacy. And then when it's taken with it, there's a higher chance. Okay? Sorry. One second. You drank it. Okay. 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 Okay that taking ibuprofen alongside antidepressants can cause ulcers, go figure. Go figure, something that was FDA approved, you know, they gave it to you anyways, and now what? But something like vaccines, you are not, we just cannot question. It's just, they just will tell you it's safe and that's it without proving or providing any safety studies. It's just madness. The vaccine, can I get sick? Can you I get the flu? You still can get the flu, but your flu chances are much lower, and if you get it, it's a much milder case. Um, so a milder version of the flu, yeah. if I if I get this. Yeah, because you'll already have like some immunity. Your immune system will already be attacking it if you okay. were to be exposed. And you're telling me the CDC will let me know that mercury is okay to be injected? On that website, I, mean, I haven't amounts. looked into that specifically, but if you look at all the stuff on there, I would trust everything on that website. Just Okay, so CDC is a trusted site. Mm -hmm. What are the other trusted sites? Um, I think there's one on here. Okay, it's just the, the CDC. I'm thinking it's it because this is this isn't like Bible prints. This will take me a while. Hold on. You said the last name was A G U S T I N. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay, this doesn't have ingredients on it. Do you have ingredients? I don't have ingredients that I don't have. Oh, you, do you know what's in it? Um, it's different this year. Um, I can ask the doctor on staff and see if she knows exactly what's in it. Um, usually it's derived of like, uh, I think it's eggshells or some type of egg. So we have to ask the patients if they're allergic to egg and then it's derived from like a flu from the year before so they can boost your immunity. But let me ask her and um, see what's in it this year. It changes every year. Yeah, like actual uh, ingredients would be concerning for me. So if yeah, if, if she knows, that would okay. be great. Yeah. Thank you. She administers this though. She gives these. How do you not know what the fuck is in this? Booker, she actually oh, what's doesn't that? know what's in it, but here's the insert. Oh. And then it tells you the ingredients. Is this the kind that I'll be receiving? Yes. Well, that's the one that we have here. I don't know uh, if you go to your OBGYN, it may be a different brand, so they may have different stuff in it. You can ask them, that's an insert, and it gives you like exactly the ingredients that's located in it. This looks different. How many different flu shots are there? The one, we just have one right now. Oh, so, so you guys just have one. I thought at Walgreens they had like four, so I got really confused. Oh, no, yeah. So you just, who did you just speak to? I just spoke with the uh, doctor. With the doctor, and you asked them about ingredients, and they didn't know. Yeah, she didn't know exactly what's in it because it's deprived of different things every year. It always changes. Okay, that's alarming. Is she the only doctor in? Today, yes. I mean, not everyone's going to know exactly what's in it, um, but if it were like a safety issue or anything like that, we would definitely be notified. Um, but she doesn't know exactly off the top of her head when I asked her. Not even one ingredient besides 
strain? I mean, I asked her and she didn't tell me when. She just told me to take the insert out of the box and then give that to you. Oh, wow. Okay. N no other nurse might know? Um, I Sorry, this is what, like, I'm trying to do the right thing by coming in and speaking with the mm -hmm. professionals because I keep getting told to stop reading up stuff online and blogs and I'm even going to the CDC site and they're like, speak to a doctor, speak to a doctor. So mm -hmm. I have questions and I'm trying to speak to a doctor and, you know, well, if, I know this is, this is nothing against you. It's no. just you're telling me that you guys administer this multiple times a day and now you don't know what's in it. Well... Again, like she doesn't know off the top of her head. It could be because she's seeing like four patients and she's behind, so I don't know if she just didn't have the time. If you want to check in and talk to her, you could definitely do that. Or like I said, follow up with your OBGYN. I explained to her. These are where my concerns lie, I guess. Every in, every vaccine, injection, medication, anything like that is always going to have like a contraindicated part, which is going to tell you, you know, during the testing, this is what they found, stuff like that. If there's always a chance you know, it can either can be good for you or it could be bad. And that's why you're getting, that's why you're reading offline. It's telling you one thing, CDC is saying one thing. Yeah, it's, that's why, I think that's why there's so many confused people right now. Yeah. With definitely. all of this, you know, because um, I, gen, not saying you don't, but I care about what is going yeah. into like my bloodstream and even yeah, if it's, and it's never been in your bloodstream before, so I understand. Right. Yeah. And then I'm hearing that there's mercury in there. Mm -hmm. I heard that there's um, like all kinds of documented uh, poison, actually. It's like neurotoxin carcinogens in there. You know, yeah. you've got polysorbate 80. Yeah. And that's like really terrible for you. That actually causes infertility. Yeah. So um, I was a little hesitant to get. But like I said, if you want, I could grab a nurse for you. But you're a nurse. No, I'm not. I'm a medical assistant. Oh, medical assistant. Yeah. I mean, we, we're not on the same level. Nursing has a little bit more scope into like more medications and stuff. Yeah, but if the. But if the doctor doesn't know, would the nurse know? She might. I, I mean, I'll take my chances okay. if she's got okay, like right. five minutes. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. What in the actual... Guys? What in the fuck? I'm at urgent care, and the doctor here does not know. What's in a blue shot? Are you guys screen recording this? Because Instagram's probably not going to save it. Knowing my luck on Instagram, okay? You guys hearing this? Are all you moms out there hearing this? Doctors and nurses don't know. Then what the fuck, pharma? We are exposing your asses every day that you don't know shit from shit and you're poisoning people, putting this crap in kids. She was shocked to see that there's freaking like formaldehyde. I was like, so there's formaldehyde. Her eyes were like. This is embarrassing and act like this isn't embarrassing for me. This is embarrassing for everybody in the medical profession right now. This is really embarrassing, especially if you're still in debt, paying back a school that was just one big, f sponsored by pharma. Congratulations. You don't want to deal with a mom like me coming in, asking questions like this. You better start reading up on your shit so you don't look like a moron. And don't have to worry about that on the in case that you are being recorded. At least their faces weren't in it. I feel like I'm okay if it was just their audio and not their faces. But who cares at this point? Like, really, who cares? People, you know, you're going to have those pro vaxxers that are going to be on here and be more concerned with, like, is she recording? These are the same people that cared more that, like, the people at Planned Parenthood that were selling aborted baby parts were recording them than the fact that they were selling aborted baby parts. It's like, get a clue. What do you think is going to be happening? Parents are now going to be resorting to measures like this. You can't trust your news. You can't trust nurses. You can't trust doctors. Not one damn person in that clinic knew an ingredient. Eggshells is all I got. 
Hashtag walking on eggshells. Anti-vax movement. Hashtag walking on eggshells. Congratulations, you're all in debt, and now yearly you have to get this stuff. You have to continuously poison yourself and then other people and look at us like we're crazy. Right? Oh my gosh. Like, I knew it was bad out here. I knew it was bad. But being in the room and actually, like, hearing it, because I avoid these places like the plague. First of all, I'm going to need to go and, like, detox my ass because who knows what the hell was spreading in that place. Watch, I get sick. Do, what, what would be the common side effects if I were to get it? A sore arm. A sore arm. That's pretty much it. And that's it. Mm -hmm. You have people get a little bit of headache, possible headache possible sluggishness. Uh, I mean, I can, you want me to give you the sheet? Yeah, yeah do you have like an insert? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would